So I don't make estimates. What I will say is that the jurisprudence in Jamaica when it comes mm -hmm. to um, retrial. Okay, boom, viewers. Welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know how the thing's set. We're blessed. Hope you have a wonderful day today, but you know my style. One bag of bag and the one I gotta continue giving them daily updates on the people you see and don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch it and so you don't miss a thing. And with that being said, the most important question everybody wants to know is Vibes Cartel going to be let free given the fact that the UK Privy um, quashed his conviction in Jamaica but they sent him back to Jamaica to basically get him final verdict in a sense. It's in my answer. Um, everybody is thinking about this double jeopardy retrial law business this site that you know everywhere it does basically in america you see what i said well people i found out that jamaica actually amended that law you feel me so i don't know if this is gonna work in cartel's favor or um the dpp favor you see what i said so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to show you what i found um on the jamaican information website pertaining to this law and then you can put in the comment section and help us out what I go on for not to go on you see my answer because I think um the DPP has fourteen days to answer um this you keep every uh um judgment you see me I said that's why they're so quiet right now because they might they might actually retry him to save face you see my answer because cartel kind of hit them with a checkmate so let me explain the new um bill that was amended you see my said they are seeking to amend the law to grant the prosecution a right of an appeal with the consent of the dpp uh, where there has been a verdict of acquittal in an, an administration of justice offense you see my answer, um, an administration of justice offense includes perverting perverting the course of justice bribery Remember said them them said that jury get bribed, you know. Or intimidation of or interference with a witness. You see me, I said, um, you know, Lamar Chow, I think they said is not credible, he's a lie. But nevertheless, judicial officer, a family member of a witness or a judicial officer or perjury. Said, she said it would also apply to circumstances where a verdict of acquittal based on a point of law that was erroneously upheld by a trial judge and where the sentence handed down was, you know, unduly lenient. Then basically, them get off scotch free, like when I say with the clan's case disease, um, or manifestly inaccurate. Um, for the offense having regard to any applicable sentencing guideline or where the court did not have the power to pass the sentence. Now here is where we hear the, um, the quash word. <laughs> Again, this is what I said. Um, she said there were a lot of prosecutors to refer to an acquittal to the court of appeal for their opinion on any point of law or any point of mixed law and in fact under the judicial or judicial care applicant jurisdiction and they will amend the criminal administration act to provide an exception to the rule against double jeopardy which would allow the prosecution again with the consent of the dpp to apply um, to the court of appeal to quash an acquittal and direct a retrial in limited circumstances as we explained above and that was Kamina Johnson um you know talking about the amendments thing you know Del Roy Chuck him say he's down with it after he modified it over four years and things and things but you know them need fresh evidence x y and z but everything is getting back to the DPP you know what I mean and this is why they don't want a retrial as Bert Samuel says you know it's because of you know Paula who went into the judge chamber to tell him you know go ahead with the bribery juror and ting and ting you see my and my people put in the comment section we're gonna think about that but honestly we say for the hype we ain't upset over the verdict but i think the verdict is a good verdict because it's basically have them in a checkmate you know what i mean them not have no new evidence you know the evidence that they have from the phone is tampered so that's no good the witness that they have um 
it's not credible. <laughs> you see what I said? So, you know, it, 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 I don't think the people that are going to waste time and thing and thing. You see what I said? Um, they're probably going to try to hit cartel with a plea deal, you know, being time served, X, Y, and Z. You plead guilty, and then we let them not go. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't think they're going to do that, given that the man have professed some innocence for 10 years. So that's out the door. You see me, I say, and that would have saved the DPP face. You know what I mean? This is our highest. Um, this is our trophy case. <laughs> you see me, I say. So you know she is, she is in a tight spot right now. You feel me? So the best thing she can do is to set the man them free and nobody retrial them. You see me, I say, I make time go away, people forget it, you see me, I say, um, in my honest opinion. But, you know, them say, oh, in Ellington and all of these people have some bag of things for cartel, so who knows, they might chump up a next charge on him, you see me, I say, but if they might charge him for bribery and all of these stuff, um, to me, I say, time served already, but his, his lawyer um, talking about the same situation, so let's take a listen. Never tell nobody say I did plan for not go seek bail. I did not tell anybody I was planning to seek any bail. I see that in the newspaper. Yeah, the news asking about bail. Cause the legal mm. luminaries know for talk about bail and see people in here, Lisa Williams are talk about Obia and St. Thomas. But anyway, um let me let me let me just let me just um set give you some clarity on three things. Yes, um, I don't know if you read the judgment, but the judgment was um, a to complete respect for the Jamaican Court of Appeal. Um, I don't think um, it's fair to say that the judgment embarrasses the Court of Appeal. Um, one of the things about the our justice system is that there are three tiers. First instance, Court of Appeal, and then in seeing the deficiency in the legislation ratified what he did based on what would, what would be a material irregularity. So I wouldn't say that they, 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 they would have made it seems as if the Court of Appeal was uh, looking bad as you would say. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't say it like that. We must understand that um, when it came to fair trial rights and when it came to how the charter of rights which is 2011 would have come into effect and and opportunities mm -hmm. to test it um we have to look at those things because the appeal when in 2018 when that appeal was decided um we, n we never have the blatant state of emergency issues and mm -hmm. the, the needs and all of these things never did come up yet to test the, 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 how, how powerful and how potent the Charter of Rights was. And so there's, mm -hmm. there, there are many aspects of it in terms of how you argue, how you advocate, what exactly it is that you bring to the table that, that, that can paint a light. Advocacy is everything um, when, it, when, it, when it comes to um, I convincing a court as to what the central issues are. And it's a, it's a simple thing, um, and and so when we when we look into that, and I know it may sound like I'm rambling, the starting point is that where we are now is that you would have rightly said where where will the evidence come from? Um, not in my nose hole, well, I know that, but there are people with you know possibly can pull tricks out of their nose holes. So anyway, um, that, that, that being said, no, I was not talking about the Prime Minister. Behave yourself, Audrey. Behave yourself. There's only two people in Jamaica have big nose and it's me and the Prime Minister. Leave us alone. But anyway, um, that being said, I, I just want to make it clear that um, we, 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 there are some legal aspects of it that has to come. Right now, people are saying, what is the Court of Appeal doing? The Court of Appeal can't do anything until the Privy Council concludes um, the, the relevant documents and have it sent back to the local courts. But I can tell you this, the law... Also the Privy 
So, based on what happened yesterday, right. the Privy Council will have to now write officially to the Court of Appeals. They have to transmit a particular document to the Court of Appeals. So, if one is so wondering. What time frame are you looking at? In no, I don't work with the court. I love, you know, I love those media questions. I love those poor journalism questions. I love it. Keep it up. Because I don't work with the court. So, when somebody asks me, and one thing I don't do, I don't guess. Cause I don't guess like I'm a prophet and then flop. So I don't I don't go out there and talk about yes, July, December, and then Radam. It happened quick and then everybody make it look like you you lie. So I don't make estimates. What I will say is that the jurisprudence in Jamaica when it comes mm -hmm. to um retrial, um delay is a serious factor and the passage of time is is a is a is a most important thing because you might remember the lot of number them when you dream last night but ask uh -huh. about the lot of number them 10 years from now nobody now remember that yeah you have people who used to eat kfc when them young 10 years later them 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 can't eat it no more you see what I'm yes, so you, you you have a problem or you're contending with the retrial will take a long time no what i'm saying is that i i my personal belief is um we balance constitutionality people have forget people have forgotten that this hearing was an expedited hearing so all things tr all treatment of this matter will ought to be done on an expedited basis and we'll be taking that type of um approach to dealing with it because in whatever it is mr palmer has medical um a medical emergency i will call it that medical treatment that was anticipated to be done um sooner than later that that the prison system simply cannot I manage yeah I, and i would extend to say that i do respectfully don't think that the jamaican healthcare system is something that can accommodate that and if you put it in in con if you put it in context because context always matter it cannot be that um the rich of this country um takes flights to miami to go to jacksonville hospital when they have the common call but you expect some you expect a national treasure for um go undergo treatment in um subhuman conditions respectfully no so we have to con we have to consider that as well and I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that so where time frame is concerned we're working expeditiously from the defense side as well as i do have confidence in the local court that they they won't take it lightly i can speak to um judgments from justice brooks just ju judgments coming from Mac justice mcdonald bishop respectfully that they take issue with delay they take issue with the passage of time mm. and they ballot one the, the impact of constitutional breaches is something that they look at and i can ask questions now but i don't want nobody to say i'm attacking people who ought to know what their what the the remit of their job is but um mm. ev evidence is something that um in all countries in the world um the passage of times makes evidence especially in a case where there was nobody a, a, a very very difficult one to overcome and so we will see how we deal with that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put in the comment section what you think about that. People don't forget to go on my Mumbai by news channel and check out Futter Hive's verdict on the verdict because you know he's upset and then thinks uh, you know the privy court take part of a fool and all of these stuff. This man said, as well as responding to Bishop Escobar saying that. You know, did he run out in bottom wall and all of this stuff? <laughs> Jan, um, anyway, people don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I try the latest. Bless.